In this video, we just talked about separating by product groups in the last video. I wanna talk about how we can really isolate certain parts of our account. So last video, we talked about separating our back and front end different types of products. What if we only wanna see uh, the results from uh, certain types of ads. We don't want to see our entire ad account all at once. Well, we can look at our, our source categories, traffic sources, and goals. Okay. So if we go down to our sources right here, we're going to go to uh, reporting, excuse me, tracking. Okay. So we're going to look at our tracking right here. So Traffic sources right here will be labeled and I can come down here and let's look at a few categories. Let's look at automatic Google. All right, so this is all my traffic sources from Google. All right, so say I just wanna see uh, the LTV or, the, so say I just wanna see the, the, the way our funnel is working from Google, okay? So what I wanna do is I can just go to our reporting board right over here. And let's say we wanna do that backend filtering that we talked about before. Let's take it to another level. Let's say we wanna see only the front end sales of traffic that came from Google. Okay, or we could just do automatic Google right here. There's the, it automatically puts that as the category whenever we're doing stuff from Google. But so what we could do is we could easily filter by either of these ones, traffic sources or Google, all right? So we'll just limit the report to Google and it would show us the front end sales of only Google, all right? But let's say we wanna get a little bit more creative with this. So when we look at our traffic sources, we can have multiple traffic sources that have the same goal. So let's say you have a Facebook and an ad, a Facebook, a TikTok account, a Google account, and in parts of those accounts, you're running a book funnel or that protein powder funnel I'm always mentioning, or a call funnel. But then you have other funnels going on. What we could do is we could find the sources that we're using for our book funnel. Okay, so let's say I do something right here. Let's just say I have a product that's related to Click Funnels. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in Click Funnel. Okay, and I'm gonna remove the all the Google category. So you can see, oh man, let's imagine this, this click funnel thing is across everything. So let's imagine this is on Facebook and uh, Google. And this is why you wanna name your ad sets when you're doing these things, uh, something that's recognizable, probably what they're selling. So let's imagine I, I, I'm selling click funnels in this one ad set, let's just imagine. And I sell all sorts of software. Let's imagine even, even like, let's imagine click funnels doesn't exist and click funnels is the name of my book funnel. Okay, just for the sake of this video, I can go right here, I can highlight all these and I can go to update goal and I can name this book funnel. Okay. I can set that right there, all right? I'm gonna update that goal. So you can see the goal for all these is now book funnel. I can then go to my reporting dashboard. Let me refresh it so that loads in there. And I can say, all right, cool. What I wanna see is everything from my book funnel. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here to goals and I'm gonna say book funnel. Now I can get even creepier with it and say everybody for everybody that's goal is book funnel on Google. Or whoop, not ad accounts. We can also filter it by the ad accounts we're connected to, obviously. I can do everybody automatic Google or I could just do traffic sources right here. Now, again, we can make our source category something like YouTube organic. Okay, so I can set that right there. So anything that's related to any YouTube video that links to uh, us, uh, our book funnel, we'll set that as our goal and we can easily segment that too. And again, we could do the same thing with the back end or whatever, we could do the reoccurring. Uh, we could also use this to see, you know, which sources are giving us the best LTV. And we talked about LTV mode uh, in the other video where we could go and segment it down. So I can say anybody that's from YouTube that goes into our book funnel, what's their LTV? And we could also do that with the general LTV. So there's endless ways you can, you can customize your reports to isolate certain things. And I wanted to show you that. Uh, in the next video, I'm just gonna talk to you kind of about how to save these reports so you can look at them. So every single day, I don't have to go and load up these reports. I can just come in here uh, into my dashboard and have these, co these reports already loaded up for me. Okay, and I can have them reoccurring and whatnot. So this, it's just a really handy thing. And we'll talk about that in the next video.